okay for understanding the concept of the sr less using the nand gate we will uh, start with the combination of s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 in the nand gate one one stage is called the retaining state and when s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 is called the set state while s is equal to 1 and r is equal to 0 is called the reset state and finally the combination of 0 0 is forbidden state because again it will send this uh, sr latch into the metastable state where both output will not be the complement of each other you can simply test whenever any input of the nand gate is held at the logic zero the output must be equal to one no matter whatever the value of the other input is fine so starting with s is equal to one and r is equal to zero using the same theorem nand output is equal to one if any of its input is equal to 0 or held at the logic 0 fine so let's just verify this operation I will draw the table over here when we will apply this logic it will give us q bar is equal to 1 and this 1 is actually fed back on the upper NAND gate Hence, making both its input equal to 1 and forcing its output is equal to 0. So, when S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0, output Q is in the reset state. So, let us draw the table for this. Here is the S input, R input, Q and Q bar. So, when S is equal to 1, R is equal to 0, output Q is equal to 0 and Q bar is equal to 1 since I have mentioned earlier here the 1 1 stage is called the retaining state so keeping s is equal to 1 and making r to switch from 0 to 1 0 to 1 will do what let's see so when you will change its value the previous value q was equal to 0 will be present on one of the inputs of the NAND gate while it is equal to 1 so 0 and 1 NAND will produce output equal to 1 again no matter it has been changed or switched from 0 to 1 this one will fed back on the upper NAND gate producing output is equal to 0 so you will see it will retain its previous output it doesn't change now let's make s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 and see how it will set the latch when you will make s is equal to 0 and r is equal to 1 this 0 input will force the nand to produce output equal to 1 and this 1 will fed back in the lower nand gate both the NAND of both inputs will produce output is equal to 0 now and you can see here the output is set to the logic level 1 and Q bar is equal to 0. Similarly you can test how the value is retained when you will make S from 0 to 1 while keeping R is equal to 1. So when S will be changed from 0 to 1 you can see this input is equal to 1 this input is already equal to 1 while this one or these previous sorry this is actually 0 this 0 is fed back over here so 0 1 and will again produce output is equal to 1 and this 1 
with this r is equal to 1 will produce output is equal to 0 means retaining the output and obviously when you will try to make both inputs equal to 0 what will happen this 0 on the NAND gate and this 0 on the NAND gate will force both these NAND gates to produce the output equal to 1 which is actually called the metastable state and hence they are not the complement of each other that's why they are forbidden or avoided. Fine. Now let's see another circuit which is actually the SR latch with the control signal present. Fine. This control signal will do what? This control signal is actually called the enable input and it controls when to activate this SR latch. Okay. So, if this control signal disables this circuitry, then no matter how you are changing SIR inputs, there will be no change in the outputs. It can be seen clearly over here when you make enable input is equal to 0. So, this enable input is actually common, common to both these NAND gates and this will force to produce output is equal to 1 okay and both ones on the inputs of these NAND gates will force this SR latch to retain its previous state so we can check it if q1 was equal to 1 and q bar was equal to 0 since they are the complement of each other now what will happen this 0 is fed over here so 0 1 will produce output equal to 1 and then this 1 1 produce output is equal to 0 so if the previous state was 1 and 0 it is retained fine and no matter how you are changing the value of s and r inputs because the zero input will always force to produce the output equal to one of these NAND gates hence retaining the values so it is in the retaining stage fine now what happens when you make enable input is equal to one now any change made at the S and R inputs will be introduced at the output side or simply now this enable input will actually let this SR latch function according to its inputs fine so let's just see since this is the SR latch using the NAND gate so let's say when enable input is equal to 1 I will use another color for that for better clarification so making enable is equal to 1 now let's see if I have set S is equal to 1 and R is equal to 0. Obviously, this 1 and 0 will force the output to be equal to 1. And again, this 1 and 1 will force output to be equal to 0. Alright. Now, since this input is equal to 0, it will force the output to be equal to 1. And then this one with the previously provided one will give output or Q bar is equal to 0. So in this way SR latch is actually in the set state. So when enable is equal to 1 and SR latch for the input combination 1 and 0 are giving output is equal to 1 and Q bar is equal to 0. Similarly keeping S is equal to enable equal to 1 when you will make S is equal to 0 or R is equal to 1 so if you make R is equal to 1 and S is equal to 0 it will force output to be equal to 1 in that case and here 1 1 will produce output equal to 0 this 0 will force the 
this NAND gate to produce output equal to 1. This one is fed over here and this 1 1 will produce output equal to 0. And in this way output Q is in the set state, reset state and Q bar is equal to 1. So this is the simple operation just like the SR latch using the NAND gate I have, I have actually explained. Thank you for watching.